Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to get rid of an inverse sine in an equation. Now, when it comes to inverse sines, they're a very useful tool, but sometimes it might be necessary to get rid of them on, on an equation, depending on what it is that you're solving for. So here's how you basically do that. Suppose you have an equation, theta is equal to sine inverse of x. Now, you have an inverse sine here. Now, to get rid of an inverse sine, what you do is you literally you take the sine of both sides. So here's how that works. You're going to have a sine of theta is equal to sine of sine inverse of x. Now, sine and inverse sine are opposite operations, or inverse operations of each other. So the idea here is you're going to keep the sine of theta, but sine and sine inverse literally cancel each other out, and you're left with x. Now, the same way happens if you have arc sine. Arc sine and sine inverse have the same kind of notation. So if you had an equation of theta is equal to arc sine of x, since it has the same notation as sine inverse, you take the sine of both sides. So you have sine theta is equal to sine arc sine of x. And this cancels. So you're left with sine theta is equal to x. So the bottom line is, to get rid of an inverse sine, you take the sine of both sides of the equation and you'll be fine. So I'm Jimmy Chang and that's how to get rid of an inverse sine in an equation.